Could you explain a little bit the concept of risk in, 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 in Islamic finance and Islamic law? Because uh, you, you taught us that understanding of reasonable risk is, diff is different in Islamic world compared to the Western world. You, you taught us that it's not possible to uh, make business uh, without risk and the reason why you can make a profit for, from uh, any business is just you, uh, you, 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 take, you take some risk. Could you tell us a little bit more about this concept of risk in Islamic law and finance? Risk is the, oh, the, the profit is always the reward of taking risk. So some kind of risk must be there. Without which you cannot earn profit, uh, a halal profit, a permissible profit, a reasonable profit, uh, unless you take some risk. Even in the, in the sales, for example, if I uh, open a market and I am a trader, I am a businessman, when I sell commodities, I take the risk of the commodities, uh, the risk of the commodities, and that risk bring, brings to me the profit. So in, uh, in Islamic finance, uh, there is no concept of trading in money. It is always uh, you know, uh, uh, back, uh, based on assets, not asset back, but asset based uh, economy that some of them are used to. So, therefore, uh, the risk is necessary. However, the risk should, can be minimized by expertise, by putting some, uh, some uh, extra, uh, extra, uh, extra precaution. So, it can be minimized by diversification of the portfolio. So if you uh, lose in some uh, cases, you will succeed in, uh, in others. And uh, uh, they bring an equilibrium uh, between losses and, and uh, profits.